Hi viewers, in this video I will overview the totally integrated power module, networks, fuses and connectors of a Jeep Patriot. TIPM is the acronym and it's commonly called TIPIM, so I will use this word during the presentation. The TIPIM is directly powered by the positive battery cable. The first function is to distribute the current to the electrical and electronic components. It's also the primary communication network system to communicate with the other electronic modules. It can receive, store, process and transmit many types of data and comments. The TIPIM Diagnostic CANSI bus system is dedicated to communicate and interact with different types of OBD2 scan tools. Some scan tools can also support bidirectional communications to troubleshoot and test the modules, the relays and many connected components. The TIPIM is built with an integrated multi-fuse holder to set all the fuses. The basic function of the fuses is to protect the electrical and electronic components. Two types of fuses are required to protect the circuits. The mini fuses and the cartridge fuses. The mini fuses can be removed with two fingers, but it is more efficient to use a fuse puller or needle nose pliers to remove them. The cartridge fuses are bigger and it's easy to remove them with the fingers. There are two fuse carriers to pair some fuses. A fuse carrier can be lifted and the cover unlocked to remove the fuses. The fuses are simply inserted in the carrier, then pressed down in place. Then the cover can be closed and clipped. It could be useful to inspect the fuses to see if they are overly oxidized. They are not too expensive, so you can replace some of them. I also made sure to install any fuses with the correct amperage rating to avoid dangerous electrical problems. Normally, to get the information about the fuse layout, we have to refer to the fuse reference numbers. They are written on the backside of the fuse cover. These reference numbers are part of a chart printed in the fuse section of the user's manual. I made this generic North American description to give you a faster way to look through the many circuits that are protected by the fuses. But to be specific about your vehicle, refer to the user's manual, because the information may differ depending on year, model, options and country. Before disconnecting a TIPM, if applicable, the key must be removed from the ignition switch. To begin, the air inlet has to be removed. Then the negative battery cable must be disconnected and the battery post isolated. The same procedure should be repeated with the positive battery cable. Later, when the TIPM is unfastened from the holding brackets, the C9 positive cable connector can be disconnected from the C9 stud. The big connectors are more tricky to disconnect. To begin, the red locking slider is retracted. Next, the locking tab is depressed to free the lever. Then, while pressing the lever towards the tipum and pulling out the connector at the same time, the connector can be disconnected. To unplug a small connector, you have to depress the locking tab, then pull the plug out. When all harness connectors are disconnected, the tipum can be fully removed and checked. After, it's easy to inspect all the contact pins and the contact blades used for the connectors. I made this drawing to show the pinout configuration for the 10 harness connectors. The C1 has 13 cavities. The C2 has 14 cavities. The C3 has 16 cavities. The C4 has 10 cavities. The C5 has 14 cavities. The C6 has 13 cavities. The C7, the C8 and the C11 have 22 cavities. And finally the C10 has 8 cavities. This model of TIPIM has no electromechanical relay mounted on the circuit boards. Some relays are grouped together in a relay box called fuse block. It is located behind the left side of the front bumper shell. Here you can see the fuse block when the bumper shell is removed. 
If your TPM has an obvious problem like this one, you can check online to find fully compatible rebuilt ones sold by legitimate businesses. For those of you who are interested in reading about how to remove and install a TPM, you can open the hyperlinks available in the video description to access the webpage containing the information.